Hello, and welcome to my recipe video for the warming, hydrating, and intoxicating beverage, the Hot Toddy. Now that's a pretty fun name on its own, but I like to get cute and call mine a Hotty Toddy. It's the answer to the question, what if tea could get you drunk? The ultimate way to warm yourself up while getting toasty. The perfect drink for the cooler months of the year. Or heck, have one in the middle of summer. I don't care. I went to uh, Starbucks in Palm Springs, California once and uh, ordered myself an Earl Grey while it was 116 degrees outside. If people can get iced coffees in the winter, I can boil myself in the summer. The Hot Toddy is one of my favorite drinks for the fall and winter months. It's a cocktail and a way to warm up all in one. Rivaled in this way by a few other drinks, the Hot Toddy is a drink that belongs in any mixologist's portfolio. There are some variations on this drink, but this is what I use to make my hotty toddy. Honey, bourbon, hot water, cinnamon sticks, lemon, cloves, and cheer. Don't forget the cheer. It tastes almost healthy. It's better than having pure uncut whiskey at least, right? And for all you pirates out there, that lemon helps prevent scurvy. A hotty toddy is also an economical drink. Water is the mixer you don't have to buy. It gets pumped straight into your kitchen you simply boil it and it's ready. Some people have fancy glasses for this kind of thing. I have these glass mugs, which are not fancy, but they let you see all the ingredients and that's fancy in its own way. In this video's science fact, the heat capacity of glass is not great. So for longer warmth, use a ceramic mug. My hotty toddy is easy to make. There's no blending at all. Just adding ingredients to a cup, but don't take my word for it, let's make one. First, start boiling some water. While the water is heating up, act like the smartest caveman and slice your lemon into wheels. That's right, you're not a pirate anymore. Pirates don't need wheels to get around, they use boats. Stick, let's say, six or eight cloves into a lemon wheel and set it aside. Now, in your drinking vessel, step one, add honey. I recommend a tablespoon, but for a sweeter drink, add more honey. Less sweet, add less honey. You get it. Step two, add your alcohol. One and a half ounces should suffice. That's the same amount as a typical shot glass. Please feel free to use an atypical shot glass if you want. Step three, pour hot water over the first two ingredients, filling the glass most of the way up, but leaving some room. This drink isn't my apartment after all. Step four, add a cinnamon stick and give it a stir, not a shake. A reverse James Bond, if you will. These cinnamon sticks aren't quite long enough, so I'll be using a spoon too. Finally, toss in that cloved up lemon wheel like it's walking the plank. Yes, we are back to being pirates again. And that's it. You've got yourself a taste bud pleasing and boozy hotty toddy. I guess, I guess if you were really a pirate, you'd use rum instead of bourbon. Try that if you want. 